I just sucked up my fucking car keys. I'm taking a puff. I'm stuck. I feel like a sus. No trust. I do as you must. For real. Oh my gosh, it is. We see. found it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was very dramatic. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm making my debut. I want to be a YouTuber. I love doing YouTube. I don't know why I haven't been consistent. Anyways, as you can tell, I'm not in my usual setting. I'm in Texas visiting my family slash apartment hunting, except I've been treating this whole entire trip like a vacation. Although a good vacation is good and what's needed from LA. I need to take Dallas seriously as well and not treat it like it's just a vacation because quality time with family is important, but so is having a routine and being on schedule and getting things done which i have not been doing i haven't seemed to find that balance yet but we are working on it and here's the first step this youtube video today's video is going to be a week in my life here in texas it's tuesday i'm starting it late but last week i did the same thing i went to film on tuesday and i was like oh no it's already tuesday i lost a day and then i ended up not filming for the whole entire week and i don't want to do that my videos are perfectly imperfect I am perfectly imperfect. We are all imperfect. It's okay if I start on a Tuesday. I'm so hard on myself for little things and then I get in my own way and I self-sabotage my goals and opportunities sometimes because it's too late, but it's always gonna be too late because I haven't started on things that I'm saying it's too late for. There's never a perfect time. But if I've learned anything, especially like doing 75 hard, it would be that there's a choice that you have to make for self-discipline and consistency. The price to pay for not doing the things that you need to do and that are good for you is literally your dream life. It's okay if I don't get things perfect the first time. It's okay if I did 75 hard and XYZ and I fell back a little bit. What's important is that I keep trying. So I will continue to keep trying and just have full belief in myself and be nice to myself, give myself positive affirmations. And something that's really important to me is bringing y'all along with me. And if I don't vlog, and don't post these videos then i can't do that so i have two objectives for myself moving forward here on out on all platforms one do what i need to do and two film it we are glowing and growing together we have shit to do oh my gosh i got my belly button pierced guys i already had it pierced like two and a half years ago and then for some reason the ball fell out and it hurt so bad that i waited this long to get it re-pierced i only got it re-pierced because my other friend was wanting to do it as well and i'm super comfortable with her i grew up with her we went to high school together her name is maddie so i went with her and i did it and it was so much less painful especially than i thought and i had remembered but also so quick and easy and i love it huge confidence booster I'm moving to Texas and out of my apartment once my lease is over, which is at the end of March, but I haven't been working towards getting a new place nor taking steps to prepare for that. Like when I get back to LA, I need to go through my overall apartment and start getting rid of things and figuring out plans for where things are going to go, what I'm going to keep, what I'm not going to keep. This next chapter of my life is going to be focusing on long-term decisions, being consistent, being in my routine and really putting the time and work into myself and my life. I did 75 hard and then I feel like for the last three months I've been giving myself a lot of leisure, which is okay. But it's time to hop back on the horse and get back on my grind because I want to balance life. I don't want all or nothing. I want to do both and it's possible. I just have to put the work in just like with everything else. You just have to apply pressure to those areas of your life that you want to improve. Daylight saving happened while I've been here in Texas. So my sleep schedule has been all types of fucked up. Going to bed at 3 and 4 a.m. and waking up at 12 p.m., which is very off from my regular schedule, which y'all know is like 4 a.m. So I'm not feeling too hot right now, even though I deserve time with family and rest. I cannot let myself go. I can't do it. I'm not going to. Like, no, I have shit to do. I love when I get in this mindset because I have been in the biggest mental rut, not even rut. I've had such a lack of motivation to do everything after having a bunch and doing 75 hard and not even just motivation, but discipline because discipline's doing things even when you aren't motivated to do it. I have not been making the best decisions for myself. I haven't been making bad decisions for myself, but I'm making decisions and in the back of my head, I'm like, you can do better, Reagan. And then I don't. Cheers to doing better moving forward. I think while this mask is on my face, I'm gonna go through and make a Pinterest board for my Texas apartment and start planning out what I want that to look like. I always listen to a song before bed. Tonight, it's gonna be this song. I'm ready my to do I have all the main things written down. 
well, it's not 6 a.m. It's not 7 a.m. or 8 or 9. Don't think I woke up to any of those alarms, but it is 11.30 a.m. And I have an eyelash appointment that I completely forgot about to get my eyelashes done. How did I sleep 11 hours? Like, what is going on? I'm gonna pack a bag really quick and then we're gonna get in the car. Hopefully I have time to get coffee before because I am so tired. 11 hours of sleep. I can't believe that I woke up so late. I only have time to stop by a gas station. We're gonna get one of those little, oh, I can't. We're boycotting. So I'm trying to think of where I can get a coffee from. I'm praying that I find a coffee. Let's see what we can find inside CVS. My appointment's at 12 and it's 11.44. It's not the best start to our day, but we can turn any day around. It's all about mindset. Y'all wanna see what I've decided as a replacement for coffee this morning? It works. Okay, I just made it. It's 12 on the dot. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to record because when you get your eyelashes done, your eyes are closed. Here is my before. They don't look bad by any means, but she does them really full, so. Let's take our last Dr. Pepper sips. <laughs> oh, almost just threw up there. Okay, well, here is my before. Just got back. Look how full they are. <laughs> they look so good when I do my eye makeup. Like, I've found my new lash lady and it's in Texas. Who would have thought? Let's go to my dad's. I'm going to put on some workout clothes and then we're gonna go work out before I shower and all that. My favorite rap music, same check, check out my melody. I wanna live, do us some shit. I sell dope for a full finger ring. Get it, I love it, the underdogs on top. Okay, this is where I'm staying at my dad's. Workout outfit, pink socks. I got them from Dick's Sporting Goods. And then I'm gonna wear a pink set from Define. Oh, man, I promise. She's so self conscious. She tell me that ain't insecure. What is that? I feel like I'm in the purge. Do you know what that noise is? They catch them every Wednesday at two. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Ah, la la, wait till I get my money right. And you can't tell me nothing right. I just walked for 20 minutes because all I could think about is all the things that I want to get done today to be back on track. So what are we going to do? Leave and get back on track. Let's do what we need to do. I got a tiny little workout in. Something's better than nothing. But it's 3.11 now. I need to prioritize all of the little things. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go clean this car. Yeah, took out quite a bit of junk and the Jersey Marks is still in there. Love you. <laughs> I love you. I just stopped by my dad's before we go clean my dad's car, which he's letting me borrow for the whole month that I'm here. I have decided that I'm gonna stop by in and out and get some food because it's 3.20 and I haven't ate today. And I'm really hungry. And even though my dad's cooking dinner, I need to eat lunch and dinner, not just dinner. We're getting on track today. We got this, we can do this. I don't wanna be a bum and I'm not, and I won't. Hi, how are you? I'm so good, how are you? I'm so good as well. Good. Thank you. Woo! Welcome to our car wash. Please select an item by touching the options on the screen. Let's do the pro. Let's go crazy. I need to figure out what song I'm going to listen to in there. There's a song for everything. Look at me at a car wash. I really have not done shit today. I got my eyelashes done. I went to the gym for 25 minutes. Ate some in and out. And now we're at... Ooh. We still have time. It's 4 p.m. I'm okay. Loki ate that little pee. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all a peek of what it looks like, but I'm not going to fully observe it with y'all because it is bad. It's bad, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna be cleaned up. Let's get to cleaning. I just sucked up my fucking car keys in there. Backing up your keys? <laughs> just for confirmation. Rookie move. <laughs> I didn't think they'd fit in there. Probably need to call a friend and pick you up. So I did something really bad at the car place. What? They are currently getting your key from the vacuum. Oh my lord, child. We'll keep cleaning until they get there. That's 
Yeah. Oh my gosh, it is. It is. We see. found it! Yeah! <laughs> Thank y'all for letting me look. I appreciate it. Thank you for looking. Thank you for coming. That, that would have been so much money, you have no idea. I know, and I would have had to pay for it. I don't think there's a way to do that car with keys, so you'd have to, yeah, that'd be tough. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I got to see you before you went to work. Well, that was very dramatic. I'm back home now. Y'all, my dad got two kittens. One of them's not gonna let me pick them up, but I will show you the other one. This is Tabby Lou. She wants down. <laughs> then we have Catherine, who's sleeping right now. You're just so cute, I'm sorry. According to my to-do list, I have done one, two, two things that were on my to-do list. Your hair's so blonde. What do you think you got the blonde hair? Show <laughs> them. Look at that guy. <laughs> Lori was looking at my, was it my second grade yearbook? Oh. I had girls throwing numbers in there. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. I'm telling you we're hanging this up, so I don't know why you put it in the We bag. are not hanging it up. It is not decoration, honey. We Quick story. It. You remember Pico's Little Monsters baseball mm -hmm. team? We were going to coach. Me and my brother were going to coach. <coughs> Get that out of the first. <clears throat> me and my brother was going to coach both of our boys, which are the same age. They're Preston and Chance yes. are three months apart. So, of course, they played all the sports together. Well, we were going to coach them in baseball. We came up to sign-ups and all that. And like, oh, well, there's just enough, you know, y'all own, there's enough for y'all to coach, maybe like four kids, but we'll give you some off of each team, which they gave us the shittiest kids that couldn't even play <laughs> baseball. Most of them. I mean, that's just life. It's real. <laughs> so we took that little bunch of Rugrats. I don't know if you can read that. To the championship and won it all. <laughs> oh. Awesome! Yeah. I didn't even know that. That's how we roll. Bro, oh, I love this song. Max up, volume up too. Long pit and bones, bro. I ain't been a problem no more. Put the money up for the other. Now we ain't focused on the universe for me. Aww. Summer. Let's go! Number five. There's yes. a five. You need large? Six, yeah. Yeah, five, six. Oh girl. shit. Yeah. Boom. Last game of Yahtzee because we've played. <laughs> Yahtzee! There's nothing like getting a Yahtzee, though. It's its own experience. It's almost 12 a.m. I finished my book notes and I played Yahtzee with my family. I didn't finish my to-do list, but I'm not gonna stay up because I wanna wake up early. <laughs> it will change the whole trajectory of my whole entire day. We're going to bed. Who the fuck mows at 8 a.m.? Like, what? I feel like that's not nice. I changed into some workout clothes. I'm gonna redo this braid really quick. I need to stop to get some socks from like Dick Sporting Goods. Are they even open? They are open. Okay, thank God. And I only have pink socks at my dad's right now. I was really annoyed that someone was mowing at 8 a.m. this morning, but I'm not really annoyed. I'm glad that that woke me up. Some people didn't get to wake up this morning, so I'm very thankful and very blessed. And I'm really just glad that I woke up early. One of the best traits that I think that I have is I will always reframe negative thoughts into a positive thoughts out loud, always. Like not just for myself, but for other people too. I really do think positively for the most part. As an overthinker as well, I think a lot. 24 7 i'm always thinking i'm always observing so i'm really glad that that's a habit that i've adopted because it's definitely something that i've had to change and not something that just happened naturally and yeah just know that it's possible you can go from being super negative to the complete opposite i've also decided that we're gonna go get a coffee right now because i'm not there Got you Let's go. What can I get started for you? Can I get a 16 ounce iced Benny? We made it to Dick's. <sighs> oh my gosh, am I about to buy a new outfit? I just walked in here for socks. But this stuff looks so cute. Look how cute this is. And I have a jacket to match this. 
I'm getting it. How much is it? Got rubies in my damn chain. Okay, well that just went from nothing to something really fast. I got the hat. It's cute. This is gonna be cute. Not right now. I look a little crazy right now, but just trust my mind. Then I got the socks that I came in there for. I need to take a pair out so I can wear them. I got this red Nike dry fit tee. I have a white one and it's like my favorite workout tee ever. So this is my second Nike dry fit tee. I'm gonna wear it to the gym tomorrow. Got this black Nike bra. I have it in white and it's my favorite Nike bra. So all of my favorites are there today. Cause then lastly, I got these cargo sweats from Nike, which I'm actually also gonna wear right now. I got them in a size medium because I like them oversized. Even if they're too big, I don't care. I like them oversized. And they're just like, they're just sweats. I wear sweats every single day. So not even mad at any of these purchases. The hat I'm a little iffy on because that's a little nuts, but it matches the jacket that I have. Putting my socks on and we're just about ready for the gym. All that just to go to the gym. Is it 10.30 a.m.? Yes, but did I make it to the gym? More importantly, yes. Can only do so much. At least I freaking made it here. Like, come on. I don't really wanna stay. I don't really wanna go. But I really need to know. Can we get it together? Oh, oh, oh. Get it together. back we finished our workout i just did a quickie but it was really good and i'm really proud of myself for pushing through even though i wasn't motivated because i know that's not what i stand for you're not always going to be motivated motivation can't determine whether or not you do something it's discipline i've literally preached that so many times and i felt like such a hypocrite not doing it myself so feeling really good that i got a workout in i need to drive to my dad's and i am going to take off this freaking nasty self tan and probably end up redoing it knowing me and also wash my hair Honestly, we might even get ready, like we have time and then we can do our book notes and all that. Maybe we'll end up driving to a cafe. I don't know, the world's our oyster. We can do whatever, we woke up early. It's 11.28, I wouldn't even be up right now. She know who I am. She'll give a fuck who I was. I don't remember her name for real, but I know that she fell in love. I just got out of the shower. I exfoliated the best that I can. It honestly looks so much better. I got as much tan off as I could. I didn't get it all off though. I'm gonna put on some baby lotion. I did end up getting in the bath for a little bit just to relax. Um, plus I shaved in there. I'm planning on self tanning later today, but first I wanna get a wax. So I booked a last minute wax appointment for 30 minutes. I'm gonna blow dry my hair really quick. It doesn't need to be perfect. I just need it to be a little bit dry because I have extensions. And when you leave them wet, it makes them like fall out easier. That's honestly good enough. Most of my hair is still wet. I'm gonna brush it really quick. I'm gonna throw on some shoes and we're gonna get in the car. Maybe I'll have time to pick up some food before I get my wax, but all I know is I'm about to get a Brazilian wax. I need to mentally prepare. Fresh like a breeze in the sauna. Yeah. I can get whatever with no owner. Candy that's around when it won't go. I just got to my wax appointment. You can't see it, but it's right there. I can't bring y'all in, I already know that. I've tried far too many times. Not that I would show y'all anything, just my expressions. So here's my before. I'm scared, I'm always scared. The thing about waxes is it's so fast and so worth it. Sorry if you saw my spit, cause I did just spit. It is worth it. And so it's, I'll take a few minutes of pain for a baby smooth cooter, you know? What'd Drake say? Here's my before. I just got done with my wax. Honestly, one of my easiest waxes ever. The best thing about Brazilian waxes, not to sell y'all on a Brazilian wax, but if you've never got one, it is worth it. Coming from someone who still gets nervous before I go in because it's a quick pain, but it is a pain. It lasts, like mine will be baby, soft, smooth. And it's not like this after I shave for like a week and a half, two weeks before I have hair grow in. And then the more that you get waxes, the thinner your hair gets. So it just gets easier every time you go. It's like the first wax is the initial one and then after that everything's a breeze if you've ever considered getting one it's really worth it i promise we're gonna drive to in and out because i'm so hungry and i was gonna do it before but i didn't have time thank you so much you. have a good day you're really making me want in and out right now <laughs> <laughs> sorry i'm like scarfing it no you're good Saying I won't change, 
but I ain't saying everything's different. No rest me. It's Tennessee whiskey. I'm on my way to pick up my little brother from high school. He gets out late. It's almost 5.30 right now. I'm gonna stop and get a bottle of wine for my mom and I. I'm just assuming that she'll have a glass with me, but we'll have to see what she says. I'm gonna get the wine that she likes, but my brother gets out from band at 5.45, and I'm stopping at CBS, which is close to the school anyways. Still need to read. I like to read one fiction book and one self-help book every day. This is the most Reagan, like, me day that I've had in a really long time. I've been so off track slash self-sabotaging myself and my goals. I get scared that I'm not going to like make it in terms of my goals and where I want myself to be in this new chapter I'm delaying the work that needs to be put in to, to meet that version of myself in this new chapter of me moving and um, Just a lot of changes in my life that are happening because of that But if I never start then I'll never know and I'd rather apply myself and see what could happen than not do anything at all and Let myself fall down this rabbit hole of not getting things done and being upset and not feeling fully satisfied with myself or content within myself. So that's why today has been very important that I get back on track and that I'm actually doing it. Anyways, some wine's calling my name right now. Reagan has picked me up. The from best school. sister ever. From, from the uh, school, yeah. Mm -hmm. How was your day? Um, I would take a test. Definitely bombed that test. I definitely got like a 60. It, really? was, it was bad, yeah. Oh, like were you guessing for some of them? Like, I got 11 questions wrong and they're all the questions I guessed. I took two math tests in the past two days. Yesterday I absolutely failed that test too. But then I took my bonus test and I got like, I feel like I did really good on that one. Then I got an English project to make up over the break. I have an English essay to make up in the morning. Well, I missed a week, I missed like the whole last week of school. Spanish. We're getting in that class. Google Translate comes in clutch in that class. Oh my gosh, Austin. Oh. Uh, I'm this online. Oh. World history, that class is so easy. <laughs> Should've took AP. What instruments do you play? In band, I play bassoon. Band. Yeah. And tenor sax. And this instrument called the mellophone. No one knows about that one. And? And, and I play guitar. And I play bass guitar. And I play keys. And I play clarinet. And I play trombone. <laughs> That's it for now. He's a rock star. He wants to play the drums. That's next. I'm gonna surprise Mama with this bottle of wine, so hopefully she's in a good mood. Sounds about right. Okay, anyways. I come bearing Hi. gifts. No, bearing a gift for Thou. I told you I was trying not to drink during the week. What are you bringing that for? I'm just, just to give you. You want to drink it today? Do you that see how many bottles of wine we have over there? Two. It's for you. <laughs> add two more to it. Thank you. What? Girl. That's mine. I know. I know what you're trying to do. No, I was just, you don't have to drink it today. I was just trying to gift Thank you. Thank you. Because I was already getting myself one, so oh, I was like, get in here. My little Look at how short we are. <laughs> He was vlogging on my camera in the car. Uh, and why were you late, Austin? He had to charge his phone. Is that what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Mama's got the good jams. You know this one? Yeah, it's the neighborhood? Everyone knows. Oh, I didn't know you knew this one. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna eat one of these banana walnut mini oh, yeah, they are Because so I'm good. so hungry. First time. Oh my gosh, they're molding! Uh -huh. Oh, that just ruined my Gerard. appetite. Come here. Four. No. <laughs> He's trying to do three, four. Stop. One, two, three, four, four. Oh. five. <laughs> she gave me a five second hug. Oh roll. no, five seconds. I said four, not five. No, you said five and you just tried to change it to four, which is not <laughs> sliding with me. Can you be more affectionate? Like, come He's just a big fluff ball.
still a fan, even though it's salty. Baby, see you with some other brand that you have. Good morning. It is currently 11.52 a.m. I'm leaving my mom's right now. I ended up going to bed at like 12, but I applied for Love Island <laughs> just because I've talked about wanting to apply and do it for like a few years now. But I posted a video talking about me applying, so now I feel like maybe I won't get casted because I talked about it and apparently casting's really strict. I don't know. I don't know. It was just a fun little tee why not moment, you know? There's that update. I threw on some workout clothes before getting out of bed. I need to stop and get gas and I'll probably get an energy drink. I'm gonna get a Red Bull and I'm gonna try to get a sugar-free Red Bull or one of the fun flavors because I love Celsius. I work with them. I drink them every day. But there's so much caffeine in it that I think that it's part of the reason that I'm up so long during the day and that it's hard for me to fall asleep and then I have interrupted sleep and I don't feel well rested. So we're gonna try to make a small little change and see if it makes a difference tonight, except I think I might be going out tonight. I'm gonna bring y'all with me, like we're going out. Uh, hopefully my camera's charged, but if not, it's not gonna be the end of the world. I'm thinking we stop and get gas and then we go to Planet Fitness and walk on the treadmill and maybe I'll read some of my fiction book on the treadmill. That way I can knock two birds out with one stone. I've done that before, it doesn't bother me. Some people have said that that bothers them because it's like shaky but it really doesn't make a big difference for me. So that's our plan. My camera is about to die. So I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get, but I'll definitely charge it whenever I go to my dad's afterwards, worst case. This needs to be huge moving forward as well. It's funny because I'm like literally documenting me trying to get my life together. But I also know that I'm going to, you know? Y'all know I'm going to. That's like literally what my content is, is trial and error, trying to better ourselves I think that's why I have such a good connection with y'all because we are all just trying to be better as humans day by day and it gets hard and it gets a lot easier when you have a buddy and so I'm volunteering myself to be y'all's buddy, to be the person that we do all these things with and to take y'all along my journey in hopes that it will possibly help someone else's journey as well. Um, the book that I was reading yesterday, it's called Get Out of Your Head by Jenny Allen. I thought it was gonna be a book mostly about overthinking which it is and getting out of your head which it is but i was pleasantly surprised that it touches a lot into faith and christianity and god and i am a christian um i have been since i was a little kid i haven't always had the strongest relationship with god but he always finds me in the ways that i randomly pick up a book one day after not reading for a month and i used to read every single day for like two three hours and then it'll be like bam right there and that's what happened yesterday and it was amazing because i was reading about how important it is to not do things alone and how we weren't put on this earth to be alone we were put on this earth to have community to have togetherness to be close to other people and to be vulnerable and how the enemy the devil will try to get us to be alone and alone in our thoughts, alone in our troubles, alone in what we're going through because the noise is a lot louder when we're alone but when we are around other people and we're being vulnerable and we're opening up ourselves to other people, that's when togetherness comes in and even when people might shame you or talk down on you or be a little bitch about, ooh, maybe I shouldn't use that word and talk about God in the same section. Um, sorry but even though they may act in a way that's not nice after words of opening up that doesn't mean you have to tell everyone your deepest darkest secrets obviously i'm just saying everyone's human and sometimes people don't react to things because of things they're going through in the way that you want them to react and you have to take that into account as well doesn't make it okay but when you open up to other people it opens up this new levels of understanding and as humans we all want connection, we all crave community, even the people that are alone. A lot of us self-isolate because we're scared to be vulnerable. It's something that we've never done before, something we've never known before. It is scary putting your trust in another person, but how are we all going to grow and be connected and be a community if there isn't sharing being done and there isn't openness happening and so long story short you can't do that without opening up and without sharing and i'm genuinely so thankful anytime that y'all share y'all's stories because maybe to some people i am just a stranger on the internet and maybe some people don't feel as connected to me 
Um, but I feel very connected to y'all and when people share their stories and allow me in, it helps me too, just as vice versa. When I share my stories, it might help other people as well um, and my thoughts and opinions. So I just wanna put it out there that this is a safe space. You may say something that I don't like, but as long as it's coming from the heart and it's something constructive and you're genuinely looking out for my well-being, because I do give y'all enough information that y'all do know me. I don't feel like it's like that parasocial because I am very open. Maybe it would be more parasocial if I didn't tell y'all everything that I'm doing every second of the day, but I do. A lot more than people like in my life even know, you know? Y'all see it all. But this is just my way of saying that there will be good moments, there will be bad moments, there will be a lot of everything because we are all so very human. But my biggest goal is to be connected through it all and to love through it all. Um, and if y'all could do that for me as well, which y'all have been, I would be so appreciative because moving forward, I wanna make sure that is my duty day by day. That is how we are connected. That is how we stay connected. That is how we grow together and learn together is by being open and vulnerable. So hopefully y'all will be seeing an even more vulnerable, open side of me moving forward. I feel like I've done a pretty good job at doing that already, but there's always more to learn and vice versa. I wanna learn more about y'all as well. Um, so maybe this vlog is less about getting my shit together but more about just being open about what's going on i don't have to do it all at once because i'm human getting your life together is a forever thing it's not just it's gonna happen in a few days and that's gonna be that i'm gonna have slip ups i'm gonna be human it's about doing the best that we can right now it's 12 p.m let's fit in the best things that i can fit in for right now instead of beating myself up about not getting out of bed i woke up at 9 a.m and then i laid in bed for three hours on my phone i'm just like y'all for real I'm not perfect, you live in, it's worth it, or something like that, I don't know. I got my sugar-free Red Bull. My friend TJ's at the gas station, so I'm gonna have him say hi to y'all. Don't call them that. <laughs> I say what's up to the gang, then. Fuck. What's up with the gang? To watch out here in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Pulled up on my nigga Reagan. Nigga give me a little gas shit. <laughs> <laughs> TJ and I went to high school together. Um, same thing with Maddie, my best friend back at home. We've just always been great friends, like literally just great friends. He's always been so nice to me and welcoming towards me. So we were best friends. We had some classes together too, but we were best friends for like, I'd say since sophomore year. Freshman year is when we kind of started like, oh, hey, we were around the same group. And then sophomore through senior year, we were super close. Stay in the cut on the north side. Hella points, trigger fingers on my fucking throat. Five. We are done. I have a meeting in an hour. Guess where we're gonna go? I just decided this, like, just now. In and out. Also, I came to a realization while I was reading on the treadmill. I'm definitely having gym anxiety. I think a lot of it has to do with being in my hometown because I didn't have the best experience when I lived here for 18 years that I lived here. I feel like all eyes are on me, even if they're not, and not in an egotistical way, but in a truthful, honest way. I think everyone feels that way and that's like the whole reason for gym anxiety. So I need to find a way to get over that. I'm trying to be as emotionally intelligent as possible while being here because it's so different visiting here like even being here for this month even though it's a taste of what it's going to be like in texas it's really not even a taste it's a nibble because living on my own versus being with my family right now and being at my parents houses is so different and my schedule is going to be so different my routine is going to be so different but so alike with my la routine just in a different scenery and i honestly feel like i'll just have more to do here than I do in LA because I am so scared while living in LA all the time versus being near my family would give me just a different sense of comfort that I don't have in LA. Definitely gonna get a new gym membership, not at Planet, but Dallas has some really cool gyms too, like Equinox level. I have a meeting at three, which is in less than an hour. So I'm hoping that this whole in and out fiasco 
happens pretty fast. Other side note, I definitely burnt myself out. Like whenever I was doing 75 hard, I definitely burnt myself out. So my new routine needs to be a healthy, balanced one. That's why I've been emphasizing that. And yes, I've gone through a lot of trouble the last three months trying to figure out what that looks like for me, but I've also never experienced that. So it's all trial and error. And then when I find it, it's gonna be like finding that missing puzzle piece and like, boom. I think a lot more of my days need to look like how yesterday looked because that was the most me that I felt. It's okay because beating myself up about anything is not going to help me. That's number one thing that I've learned, especially the last three months because I've been super hard on myself. I have to show myself grace. It didn't happen today. We have tomorrow. It's really important to reframe negative thoughts into positive thoughts. It's like one of the first things that I've learned from 75 hard because I was being so hard on myself in the beginning of that. Beating ourselves up makes no progress. It actually does the opposite, it makes us go back. I'm gonna drive to in and out and get some food and then to my dad's and we're gonna get on a meeting. Thank you so much, have a good day. It would take me 10 minutes to drive home but there's a lot of traffic so I'm not gonna chance it. Here's my meal. Damn, this is what, the third time I've had in and out in a row? I get a hamburger with extra spread, lettuce and spread only and then two fries. I was getting one fry, but we chose two fries. It's the little things. My meeting lasted 30 minutes and I did it in the car at In-N-Out in the parking lot after I ate my food. <laughs> what are we doing the second that I get home? Yahtzee! <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? This is just about where the video ends. We ended up playing Yahtzee all night. My friend Maddie came over and then she stayed the night. Not a lot happened other than Yahtzee as usual. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video off here. Welcome to Vlogmas, day one is posted. I'm so excited for this new little chapter, new little journey that we're going through now. Um, it's gonna be awesome. I want us to be connected throughout it all. And I feel like Vlogmas is that one step towards the right direction. So yeah, I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in day two.